Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's project is a fun and simple one. Thanks to my mom, she came and visited for a couple days and I was kind of scouring through some ideas of mine that I've been wanting to do for a while. And well, we decided that this was gonna be a giant letterboard wall. So if you wanna see how it's done, stay tuned. I started by using quarter inch melamine board. I use this because it is already painted and primed. It's a smooth surface, so it's easy to clean and the vinyl would and the vinyl will adhere to it really well. So I started by cutting it into strips that were five and a half inches. And then I took them over to the chop saw and setting up a stop block, which I highly recommend if making multiple repeatable cuts which I needed to make 120 of these pieces. So I set up a block and then cut all of these pieces at the same time at a, what was it? Three and a half inches wide. Next, I cut out all of the letters in a black vinyl that I was going to be using for the sayings. And if you have one of these, this is really helpful. Um, I used the font that was called Impact, which is pretty standard. And it makes most of the letters pretty uniform. Um, I made them the size so that they would fit on those white boards, cut them out. I weeded it and then using a transfer tape, I applied them to those white pieces that I cut out of the melamine board. It's time to prep my wall to put the ledges on for my little word wall. I am going to tape off a four foot by six foot section with some painter's tape. I'm gonna paint the inside black and then we'll go around and put a frame around the black edges to frame it out and attach our ledges and then we'll be done. Let's get to it. I wanted my rectangle to be centered to the wall, so I marked the center of the wall and then I measured out three feet from each side of that mark to create my six foot horizontal axis. All right, if you want that super crisp paint line, you're gonna wanna get yourself a matte clear Mod Podge. It's just a kind of a sticky glue that dries clear. And I'm just gonna use a simple little craft brush. I'm gonna go over the seam of my painter's tape. This is gonna seal that seam so that my uh, paint isn't gonna bleed through. And that is how you're gonna get your crisp lines.
Round two. All right, now it's time to go cut out our little ledges. I've got a little sample piece here. Basically, it is a one by material. And I'm going to cut them into one inch strips. And then I'm gonna cut a little groove on the side. And then we'll be able to screw it right into the studs on the wall. And our letters will sit in that little groove. So let's do that. All right, my wall is done. I am going to put my ledges on now. I already took the measurements that I needed. If you want your life to be easier, get the right tools. I used both a stud finder and I will be using a laser level to make sure I'm putting everything on straight. And if you don't have those, you're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. Most studs are placed about 16 inches apart in newer homes, some older homes, they are about 12 inches apart from center to center. So just make sure you're double checking your measurements, find the studs if you can. If not, make sure you're using the right anchors to attach your shelves to the drywall. And so let's get to it. All right, you guys, that about sums it up for this project. You can pick whatever saying you want. Obviously, I went with this one as a little bit of an inspirational quote for myself. Uh, thanks to my mom for all of the help. If you do not have the tools to make these ledges, there are multiple varieties of pitcher ledges that you could probably purchase online or at any store, and they would work just as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you like this kind of content, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll check you out next time.